Hey guys, our first question comes from Alvinish. He asks, which primary and secondary guard options would you recommend for a short person? Uh, that's a good question. It, to a certain degree, the answer is going to depend on whether you face standing passers or knee passers. Right? So if you're dealing with a standing passer, uh, and let's just like magically shrink me down. Uh, obviously, you know, we're starting with a seated guard, preferably if you do have that level of a guard retention flexibility where you're starting with a recumbent guard for the most part whatever grip someone makes on you and now like we do have to sort of divide this into like gi and uh no gi if you're like a, a really small person somebody still has to grab right your shin or your pants to some degree if they're going to enter into your recumbent guard so playing an immediate spider in the gi is like a pretty good solution. Uh, if we're talking no gi, somebody's going to be yeah looking to enter here. So like having a primary guard of like a delahiva or a reverse delahiva. If you're a much smaller person and somebody taller does get you into this phase. So obviously we're answering like the recumbent guard aspect first. Uh, we'll get to the seated guard in a second. So having a primary guard of one of those is going to be like fairly difficult. So as soon as somebody starts collecting your ankles, you're going to want to try to move into uh, like a butterfly phase, because if it's a single hook, so if I try to aim for a reverse delahiva hook, that can be deflected relatively easily. If I can aim for a delahiva hook, he can leg drag me to that side, right? Whereas if I'm immediately performing the gripping and shooting with both hooks, it's difficult for him to like teleport far enough away. Once he's in, even if you have like your legs back really far, once I get to here, I can pretty much get into my, you know, shit on shin seated butterfly guard or just playing butterfly guard because they, you know, choose to sit down. Definitely, if you're on your knees, if you're a smaller person, butterfly guard is gonna be pretty much like go-to. Uh, one thing we did kind of talk about in a previous Q&A was the idea of, you know, if you're a, a smaller person, attacking these levers because you're gonna have a harder time getting to the, uh, like your partner's torso. So, uh, yeah, if we're talking about standing, one, what we're talking about is getting this kind of grip, getting you know this sort of grip, and just attacking the closest thing to you. So whether you're in the gi making a two-on-one grip this way, in no gi making whatever sort of two-on-one grip, and using that to pull yourself in, you're gonna have a very compact knee elbow space as a smaller person. So moving into that sort of butterfly guard, even just getting right to like a tripod guard. So essentially playing a two-on-one guard as sort of your primary guard, whether you're starting seated, or what's sorry, when you're starting seated would probably be your best bet. So like your primary guard would be off of this grip or off of this grip and then either pulling to double butterfly hooks or moving to your tripod guard. Somebody's on the knees. Again, it's gonna be the same idea. This grip is gonna happen before anything else happens provided you're properly aligned, your hands are in front, you're gonna get some kind of grip, foot on the hip, butterfly guard, two on one. So as far as a primary guard, two on one guard, feeding it into a butterfly guard, and that'll work relatively similarly whether you're dealing with a standing opponent or a kneeling opponent. Um, definitely not the closed guard. If you're a smaller person, that's not gonna work against a lot of larger opponents. Um, and half guard, I would probably stay away from because you are gonna get darsed uh, quite a bit, smashed quite a bit. Um, but other than that, I would say you can probably get like, I've given you two, like, two pretty good ones, but any you know single leg X and X will still work to a, a certain degree. Even Delahiva, reverse Delahiva will work to a certain degree uh, as layers in your guard. But as far as primary and secondary, yeah, there you go. That's, that's about as good as I can do.